Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we're talking about front loaders um, and I just get a lot of questions about front loading setups and how to get pallet forks and all that. So this is going to be a quick one to show um, all the options. So my favorite one if we go to the shop is to just get a tractor and put a front loader on it. So if you go to one of the tractors, um, small, medium, large, you'll see up in the top some of them say this tractor can also attach a front loader. They can't all do it, like this one will not be able to, but if you find one that does, uh, make sure that when you buy it, you actually buy the front loader attacher. It is not on there by default. So now you have a front loader attacher, and it doesn't matter which one, same price, and you can attach all the front loaders, so this doesn't really matter much. Um, but now I have the ability to attach a front loader to the tractor. So at this point, we have to buy the front loader, which is in tools. And again, it doesn't matter which one, they all will work. So even though I bought, I think I bought the Hauer, I can still attach the class. Um, they all mix and match. If it's a front loader, then all the front loading stuff attaches to it. And you just drive in. And now you can move this up and down. Um, you'll look, want to look in your controls in the top left, you can see left mouse button does that and that and it also moves the front like that so you'll have to check your controls and that'll help you with all the tools and then to buy a front loader tool we have to go to front loader tools uh, we'll look at all these in just a bit and then all of these will attach to all the front loaders uh, so you have some buckets here and you can look down here uh, what they store you have some bale spikes I'm not going to show all these in action because they tell you what they do, and then as long as you look at your controls, you'll be able to figure out um, how to use them. And then this one is the silage, or sorry, the sugar beet cutter, and I do show that on my sugar beet video. That's really the only like kind of specialized one. So you buy whatever tool you need. Again, we're still just doing front loaders. And you attach it, and you'll see in the top left, then I have two attachments um, that I can switch between. So if I hit G, now I highlighted the tractor. Now I highlighted the front loader, which is this part. And if I hit G again, I've highlighted the tool, which is the log fork. And then I can check the controls. I can do this. If I hit the right mouse, then I can open. And all the tools will kind of have their own specialized controls uh, that you'll have to check in the controls menu. So that is front loading. Um, if you want, you can also just buy a front loader, which is right here under front loaders. Again, all of them, uh, I mean, they're, some are bigger, some are power, more powerful, but they will all attach front loading tools, but they already have the front loader on them. So uh, at this point, you don't need to buy a front loader tool. You just need to buy the, this is getting confusing. You don't need to buy the front loader. You just need to buy the tool. So I'll buy the bucket and same thing, you'll just attach it, and all the front loading tools will work with all the front loaders. So, there you go. Now, if you want something a little more powerful, then you'll want a wheel loader. You can see they're more expensive, a lot more horsepower. Um, and again, they all will attach all the wheel loading tools. So, if you go to wheel loader tools, all these will work. And you'll notice they're all just like a lot larger. Like this holds 4,000, uh, the front loading bucket holds 1,000. So it's just kind of a size uh, difference there. And it'll attach the same way. It's just a much, much bigger implement. And there we have a wheel loader. And it'll work the same way as the front loader. If you look in the top left, it'll show you your controls with whatever tool you put. And there is a wheel loader. And then the same with the others. So I'll show those quick so you can kind of see the size difference. Telehandler. And I'll buy a skid steer. These are tiny, tiny. You can see just how cheap they are. Uh, very small uh, machines. And these forklifts, also very small, but they can lift really, really high up. And we'll look at that. And the thing about the forklift is you can't attach any other tool to it. It is just the pallet fork. So let's see, we bought a telehandler, so we need a telehandler tool. 
And luckily things are named pretty nicely in Farming Sim 22. And of course, if you have a skid steer, then you have to buy a skid steer tool. Actually, let's do the stump grinder. That's something that you might use a skid steer for. You can also, when you're in the menu, let's say we're doing skid steers, you can hit combinations here and it'll take you right to the tool. And that'll be true with all of them, front loaders, combinations. So that's another easy way to get around them. So now that we can kind of look at the sizes, here is the telehandler. So it seems sort of mid rangey, kind of the same size as a tele, uh, sorry, as a front loader. And we should be able to just attach. And again, same tools. And our skid steer. I must not have bought the stump grinder. So we can go here, go to combinations, and buy. And these are a lot of fun to drive. They just feel, they're just very maneuverable. Um, but this, this I could see actually having like with your forestry, forestry equipment, uh, just for grinding your stumps. And then the forklift, which I just passed, is literally just forklift. You can't attach anything to it. But you can see once you get the pallet on, it does lift super, super high. So you can get it onto your trailers. And those are all the options. Um, Basically just match up the name of the tool, front loader, wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer, with the name of the machine, front loader, wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer, and you should be okay. Also make sure to check your controls in the top left so that you can get handling them, but a lot of it just takes practice and you'll get used to uh, moving around others, oh, my other stump grinder. Uh, you'll get used to moving them quickly. And that is it. Hope you learned something, hope it helps. Like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.